many ways to rescue a plastic bottle, but we wanted to surprise you. So here's a new collection of life hacks and DIY ideas. A saw squeezing bottle out of a simple plastic bottle? Easy! We'll need a candle. Take the bottle cap and heat it up over the flame. The surface starts to melt and becomes malleable. Get a toothpick, press it against the bottom center of the cap and gently push it in to stretch the plastic outwards. Be careful not to overstretch or break the cap. We've made a nozzle. Once the plastic has solidified, we can take out the toothpick. Screw the cap back in place. Now we've got a bottle for squeezing sauce. Now you can store in it your favorite sauce or corn syrup. In rainy weather, the storage of an umbrella can become quite a bit troublesome. We can solve that. Get a plastic bottle and mark a line along which you're going to cut, like so. The upper part of the bottle should be roughly the same size as the umbrella. Make a couple of holes with a puncher on the outermost edges. Attach a string. We've just made a holder for our umbrella that we can put in the hallway. Nice and easy! In our next bit, we'll show you how to make an organizer for toothbrushes or stationery. We'll need one whole bottle and a few necks from other bottles of different sizes. Mark a line on the bottle and cut off the upper part. Then, cut off the bottom part of the bottle. We won't be needing the middle part. Take a few different sized bottlenecks and cut them up to their bezels. Outline on the main bottle where you want to put the necks. Cut out the holes. Push the bottlenecks through the holes from the inside and fix them with their rings. Put the upper part of the main bottle inside the bottom part. Done! We've just made a very unusual organizer in which we can easily store our supplies. We've even found a use for a squared milk jug. Mark the cut line. Make one side longer in order to make a lid. Cut the bottle, bend the lid. Make a small hole near the edge of the lid. Make a noose with a string and push it through the hole. Glue a bead to the side of the jug. Now we can attach the lid by putting the noose on the bead. It's great for storing some useful trivia or cookies. Guess what this scoop is made of? Yes, you're right. It's made from a plastic bottle. Take a squared milk jug that has a handle in the middle. Mark the cut line with a marker, like so. Cut the bottle. Let's test our scoop in action. It gets the job done with no problem. And the handle is easy to hold. The packet with the grocery bags is getting bigger and bigger. We'll show you a way to tame it. Take a plastic bottle and mark a cut line around it near the base. Cut along the line, but not all the way through. Now, the trick is in folding the grocery bags. Straighten the bag, then fold its sides towards the middle. Roll it up, put the next bag on the edge and keep rolling, constantly adding new bags to the roll. When the roll is ready, Slightly push out the middle to make a tail. Put the roll in the bottle and push the tail out through the neck. We get easy access to our grocery bags with our new bag dispenser. In our next bit, we'll show you how to make a night light that looks like an old castle. We are going to need a plastic bottle. Cut off the neck and the bottom, leaving just the cylindrical middle part. Print out a picture of a castle. Cut it out, place it around the cylinder, and glue the end of the picture. Place a safety candle inside. Very pretty! We couldn't hold back and made a bunch of cool castles that glow in the dark. Don't know how to present a gift? We might have a very unusual idea. Take a plastic bottle and cut it in half. Instead of a simple bottle cap, we take a deodorant cap of a right size. Fill it with silicone and glue it to the bottle. Then, decorate the bottle with some beads and ribbons. Attach them one by one. Attach an artificial rose on top to finish your masterpiece. Now we have a nice dome with which we can cover a gift for our beloved. A good mood is guaranteed. 
The next bit is going to be about making some unusual and colorful night lamps. We'll need some straws, LEDs, and some 3 watt button batteries. Place the legs of the LED on the battery. It won't turn on on the first attempt? Try turning the battery on the other side. Cover the battery with some tape and place it inside the straw. We should end up with a glowing stick. Fill a bottle with water and place the straw inside. Now, our bottles are colorfully glowing in the dark, creating a fantastic atmosphere. For the next life hack, we are going to need two bottle upper parts. One of the bottles must be bigger. Cut off the base and the upper part of a whole bottle. We'll only need the middle part in the shape of a cylinder. Check to see which one of the two upper parts fits in the cylinder. Glue together the necks of the two upper parts. Coat them with white acrylic paint. Take a piece of cloth with a pretty design on it and wrap and glue it around the cylinder. Decorate with some ribbons and laces. Put together our supports and lampshade. Now we can put a safety candle inside. We ended up with a very interesting lamp and no one could ever guess that it's made out of plastic bottles. For our next hack, we'll take a plastic bottle and cut off the bottom to get a cup-like shape. Cover our cup with white acrylic paint. It would be better to use a sponge instead of a brush. That way, the paint will have more texture. Next, we take some white and pink felt and cut out of it a lamb face. Using a dark marker, draw the eyes, nose, and mouth. Draw the cheeks with a pink marker. Let's also make a funny cow to keep it company. Now we have some very cute pencil cups. We are going to do something different with this awesome butterfly pencil cup. Cut a plastic bottle in half. We'll need just the bottom part. Draw wavy edges and cut them out with scissors. Now, take a paper cutout of a butterfly and outline it on the bottle. Cut out the wings, but don't cut out the body. Now, we need to bend the wings a bit. Cover the whole bottle with spray paint and let it dry. Sprinkle some blue and silver glitter on the wings. Make a white outline with some paint. Now, decorate the body and the wings with blue rhinestones. Here is our pretty pencil cup featuring a beautiful hovering butterfly. This cool hanger is also made of a plastic bottle. Cut the upper part of the bottle. Make some holes on the bottom edge with a puncher. Draw some flowers on the base of the bottle. Cut them out and punch a hole in each of them. Paint the top of the bottle in yellow with some acrylic paint. Paint the flowers in pink and white and their centers yellow. Attach the flowers to the top of the bottle with some strings. We can control the lengths of the string to give the flowers a spiraling effect. This flowering piece will definitely give your room a summer vibe, even in winter. We're going to need one plastic bottle for our next idea. Cut off the top and bottom to get a cylinder. Cut the cylinder into two identical pieces. Punch a hole at every corner. Push a ribbon through the holes in such a way that one piece hangs on top of the other, both facing the same way. Make some knots to attach the pieces at a desired level. We end up with a cool and easy to make organizer for our toilet paper or towels. We hope that our life hacks with plastic bottles inspired you to create something new and fun. Click the like button if you liked the video. Hit the bell icon to follow our latest releases and subscribe. You'll find a whole lot more of awesome and fun crafting ideas.